Okay, let's take a look at the tenor part. Now the tenor, here it is. The tenor reads the third line in the system. Because of this line, and it all goes through the piano part too, all of this will happen at the same time as time goes by. So the parts will all fit together. So here's the tenor line, and the tenor is for uh, traditionally male voices, lower voices, but the higher of the two low voices. So the bass is very low. Tenor will be higher, but still in the low part. Now it's written in the treble clef uh, for the ease in, of reading it. Because uh, in the treble clef, if I played it, that means treble clef means the higher notes. So it's played up high so it'll fit in, uh, you can read it easier. So if I played it literally from without, this little eight means we're gonna, it sounds lower. But if I didn't take that into consideration, it would sound up here. So if you're trying to play your part out, realize that the tenors sing low. Even though it's written up here. This little eight is what indicates that uh, it actually occurs an octave lower. Um, but it's just easier to read if you put it in the tenor, I mean in the treble clef. So let's go through the part and uh, take a look at it. You start on the third line of the system. Uh, I'll count, when I count you in, I'll go one, two, three, and you sing on four. It's a pickup, four, one. You read all across, turn the page, Go to the third line here. Now this, these pages have two systems on each page. So then you read down here. These are the measure numbers. Measure nine, measure 10, measure 11, measure 12. It's the third line. All the way to the end. And right here, you drop the tempo and we everybody's going to slow down and get quieter together this is the abbreviation for the italian words retard a diminuendo so uh translated that means um slow the speed and get softer so we're not gonna be in the same room together and I'm not gonna be able to react to what's happening. I'm just gonna to have to give you a prescribed slow down tempo in our practice. And this bird's eye, at the, on the last note, in Italian, you say fermata. You hold it firmly until the director releases you. So this, Note, normally I would listen to the chord and and listen to the space and uh, react. That would be how long I held it, but because we're not all going to be in the same space, I'm just going to hold it extra long at the end. So be ready for that. I'll, when we practice, you'll have the, um, the metronome going on along, and then I'll turn it off when we get close to the end and you'll have to just follow the leader with the slowing down part.